all right guys um you're welcome to this tutorial video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to um get your your prospects from different countries other african countries um to make payments now um most times one of the challenges that um most african countries like ghana and cameroon and south africa most of the challenges or one of the challenges they face is um, inability to make payment to um, maybe they want to buy buy stuff online but they can't make payment and this is as a result of them not having um, a debit card you understand so um, most of them use what is called um, mobile money and all those stuffs so they don't have a card a virtual card or, or a physical card so in this video I will be teaching you how to um, get them to create a virtual card you understand and if you're a foreigner or you're you're an African um, and you don't have a, a virtual card you can use this um, strategy to to create a virtual card now as you can see this is my um, account here I'm using PD so just go to Play Store and search for PD this is PD um, PD is, is a third-party um, app that helps you to make payment it, it helps you to make payment to both foreign countries and you know, just foreign countries you understand so um, you can you can all it also helps you to um, create a domiciliary account you understand so you can have a virtual card and make payments i made payments recently i can show you some of my transactions so um for some of you that think that i don't buy courses or like buy buy courses you understand and i, I make payments so um i made payment yesterday and this is 28 you can see it here i i paid for a pro a, a, a course online and this is what it's worth Let's look at it so and these are some of my transactions i've been doing here on this app so these are some of my transactions here so um it's possible for you to to use it to make payments and and i paid for for um for for some product outside nigeria like courses and all that so you can also do that now now you, you can you can see some of the transaction you can see it here a debit of two hundred and nine dollars or code on your card so i paid for a pro a program yesterday you can see some of my a lot here um so let's check the exchange rate for this app um the exchange rate is quite high but somehow it's it's still favorable it's better than not making payment you understand so just go to top rate here for nigeria you can see 755 to one dollar and it's still fair enough it's fair enough then if you want to withdraw in dollars you can see it here seven to five british pounds one pound is 720 and euro one pound is 665 so if you want to withdraw that's what you'll be charged like that's what you you'll be charged you understand like, that's what that's the conversion rate rather so how do you create um and and like an account on this on this app I'll, I'll be logging out from my app i'll be logging out so i'll be logging out so once i log out i'm going to create a new account to show you guys so i've logged out so let's create the, an account so you go to sign up here then let's create a name let's just create and let's just say um let's just call this big big leo just let me just use one of my email addresses to create this one um gmail.com let's call this king leo this then password all right i'll put my password here all right so i've imputed my password the referral code now this is just in case you want to use my referral code you can just use it here i'll drop the i'll drop it there you can use it and of course there will be a, a little percentage that will be sent to me and you can also use it to create yours 
you understand and you can also create a referral code for yours and give people that want to sign up you understand but it's not compulsory but if you choose to do that you can do it just then create your account so i've created my account a verification will be sent to my mail so i'm going to check my mail now for the code awesome so you can see the you can see the um email sent here i'm going to refresh it so that you see it here um this is the this is the confirmation mail that was sent to me so i'm going to copy the code i'll copy then i'll go back to um this place here i'll impute it here so um it's advisable to just type it i don't think this has so four two three one four two i'll just type it four two three one four two and i'll verify it so once i click on verify i've created an account right so you can always edit this put your profile picture so this is my tag you can put the date of birth your your, your number so if you're from ghana you can put your Ghanaian number here if you're from Cameroon, just all you just need to do is to search here and put your Cameroon number here. You understand? Put it here. I don't have those numbers. So change your country here. Change your country. Then put your country number here. Um, just search for let's use Cameroon. You understand? So um, it's going to be updated here. Put your date of birth. Just complete it. Then you can put your picture here. Do you understand so you've created an account here so the next um, and most important um aspect of this um this this video is this i identifying your verification so you need to verify your account with your government issued id card so um so the, the 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 essence of this is for you to be able to send and receive money you understand and also have an unlimited withdrawal limit so without this you won't be able to do this your account will be restricted so we've signed up so next thing is to verify your identity so click on here then you're going to stop on your country so if you're from ghana put ghana then put continue then there's going to be a verification which i'm not going to be doing right now but you're going to be doing this you understand so you upload photos of documents of proving your identity and you're going to record this short selfie video now all these things is just for identity check to know if you are real and you understand to avoid scammers from using your um for gaining access to your to your account so you click on start and you put your country um let's say ghana i'm ghana let's see ghana yeah so you're going to choose one of these either your passport your international passport driver's license or equals identity card you can't see you don't have any of these you understand so the next thing you're going to do is to take a photo of it you understand so take a photo of it so once you take a photo of it then um once you take a photo of it then you'll be able to then they'll tell you the next thing to do which is to um which is to to snap a picture of yourself to do a video a selfie video you understand so once you are done with your selfie video you're going to receive a message from them if it has been accepted and you you're, you're sure that you have done this um, both i am um, verifications let me let me show you the verifications again so these are the two things you must do before your account gets verified before you are able to use your account so you must upload photos i've already showed you how to do the first one but i cannot do the second one because i don't have um, my document i'm not a Ghanaian, so i don't have those documents but if a Ghanaian, cameroonian or from every any other country you can um you can do this follow this process and you'll be able to um Get your account so the first one is these upload photos of your document then which you're going to snap you understand the next thing is to record this short selfie video of your selfie it won't take like one 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 minute you just do that you, you'll see the option there then once you do that your account will be verified i'm going to show you how your account will look like once you get that which i've showed before but i'm going to show you again your account and what you need to do next 
so as you can see this is your account now you cannot create a, a card you understand you cannot create a virtual card until you identify you do the verification so once you click on card here see this is your virtual card create new mastercard you can see it here you need to verify your account first so you need to follow through those process before you get your account activated and your card before you have access to a mastercard for transactions so i'm going to be logging out of this account and i'm going to be going back to my account so that i'll show you what to do next after verification so once your account has been verified i'll show you what to do and how to um, do transactions so I'll log out from here all right so this is my main account so I'm going to log in into my account and this is my account um so these this is my balance I've already showed you transaction I did yesterday and this is it here and um, I did this transaction yesterday I've been doing transactions all through um, for quite some time so um what do you do now after your account has been verified so let's say you have verified your account now you you're going to create a master card here so once you just click on this card here um you can create it because of they've been able to verify your identity so you can create a, a master card here right you can create a master card here so this master card um for you the next thing you're going to do is to fund it understand to fund your mastercard which is not difficult so if you want to fund it you're going to click on fund i'm sorry before you go here um come to this top up so you're going to click on top up here top up here then they'll send you um they'll, they'll, they'll give you access to an account number here where you can send money to right so that it will get to your account then you can now um fund your card so so this is the account number this is your account number for um for online transactions virtual transactions with pd so if you don't have access to this let's go to bank transfer yeah um you can see here let's let, let me show you guys again um top up now initiate a top up for your account and make payment your local currency so let's say bank transfer momo pesa so this is just it so you are from any of these countries here um kenya zambia uganda so you can make payment to pesa i believe that this this countries here you can you can make payment um, using pesa and whatever currency mtm mobile money can use for rwanda mtm mobile money um i think ghana also use mtm mobile money so you can also do transactions with this right but if you have um if you if 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 you have access to a wema bank account like in your country wema bank I think you sh it should be possible you should have access to this bank you can just do a transfer to this bank right the money will go there but if you don't have and you have access to um mobile money i think rwanda uses mobile money you can also use mobile money to do your just check the transaction rates right then you can check the transaction rates you can go online and check the transaction because this is for rwanda so it will be different so check the transaction rate and um do your payment send the money so once you send it this account here this, you can see this figure here it's showing 0 0.73 so this is where it's going to reflect in now it's going to be converted to dollars right it's going to be converted to dollars here so this point here this 0 0.73 here will be converted to dollars so let me just show you an example i'm going to fund my account i'll fund my account um, with some money i'll just fund it with with some money and you're going to see the changes here so i've clicked on top up this is my account number i'm going to i'm going to send money to this account and you're going to see that it's going to reflect on that pd balance so as you can see i'm trying to send money to my where my bank account i'm still waiting for it to load so once it loads i'm going to send the money to this account so you can see all right so i'm going to check my mail 
now this is my mail i received a payment now you can see it. this is the money i sent to my payday account so um you can see they've sent it to me today is 29th so you can see it um let's go back to the app so did you see something from 0.7 something dollars it has increased to 3.38 because i've been able to send money i sent money so they it did the transaction um it did the conversion and converted it to um dollars right so this is it here 3.38 dollars so how do you fund your card all you just need to do is to go to card here go to card here then um once you go to card you're going to click on fund click on fund then you put how much you want from that place so let's say i want to take one dollar from that's my from the balance my pd balance i'm going to click on this one dollar now they say at least five dollars because that's the minimum so i don't have up to that you understand so but if you want to fund you should have at least have at least five to ten dollars here so that you can be able to fund your card you understand so you should be able to fund your card with five dollars so i don't have up to that so you showing me sufficient balance and i'm not ready to um transfer again so so that that's that's what you need to know about this so once you fund your card you can now be able to use your card payment right so you can see this is your card number this is it here so you want to make payments you can just copy it or you can write it somewhere or something else so this is your cvc your three digit code here for security reason here um you're not going to see this code because i'm going to highlight them but this is your cvc um then i'm highlighting them for security reasons of course you know so this is your foreign bank account right this is your billing address your city and the expiring like everything now this is the expiring date of your card which is very important so the three most important things you'll be needing when you're making payments is or rather for your card name your card number the cvc and your expiring date which is this last one below so that that's that's how to um do that so once you want once you once you want to make payment you can use this for in this card right to make payment and and you won't have issues so so that this has been handled now of course the charges might be higher compared to normal banking but it's better than not doing anything right this 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 has solved um a huge problem of paying paying to other countries so and for some of you that don't have a virtual card you can create one with this a mastercard and you use it to make payment so i believe this helps and um like i said earlier if this if this video helped you you can always um subscribe you can like like this video subscribe share with your friends and um and don't forget you can also use my referral code the link will be below this video so um have a nice day